Alright, I just wanted to do a review on this new glove I got from Chris Stanley. But before I jump right into that, uh, let me get some music on to brighten the mood a little and get you guys in the feel for some Freddy glove action. Oh shit, the wrong track. Let's move that over real quick. Okay, there we go. Well, now that we got the song going, let me talk a little bit about the glove. It features P210 replica blades. As you can see there, the slight bevel. And these really are as close as you can get to the real thing without paying the $250 price tag. I also really like the aging Chris Stanley got on these tips. Nice red hue with that caramel color on the side. He also uh, actually replaced the ball and tape here to a red one, which is accurate to the part one glove. He added this little safety pin there down by the cuff, which was also featured on the part one glove most prominently displayed in the wall scrape scene. Uh, onto the movement. It moves very fluently as you can see. Um, it actually didn't come moving that well. I had to break it in at first. But now, as you can see, it moves like butter, as you glove builders like to say. I often find myself sitting here for 10, 15 minutes at a time just admiring all the little details he was able to get into this glove. Now, I don't believe he's making gloves anymore at the moment, but he made this one for me since I supplied the blades and the leather glove because he's tracking down a new supplier on that. Also, no, I'm not wearing a whole sweater. This is actually just a cuff link, as you can see, but it works for the video. Show those tips again. He was able to incorporate a great many details into this glove. He actually added the, I don't know if you can see that, the solder spell here on the lower stall ringlet. That little bump here on the index fingertip. The blade break, of course. And I'm not sure how many people actually know of this, but the index blade where at the break actually had a serrated edge. Here, look, let's see. Might be easier if I take off the glove. Just a second. Alright. Right here. Let's see if I can't. Okay. There you go. I think you can see it there. Um, there you can see HFX, which stands for Horror Effects. He's located in Australia, and once he gets making gloves again, well, I highly recommend going to get one from him. Here's his business card being promoted by a very special person, Freddy himself. Oh. Let me pick that up real quick. Give you guys a closer look. Horror Effects Production. Imagination to Reality. Christopher Stanley. And there's his mobile number. I don't know if he wanted me showing you guys that. There's his web address, horroreffects.net. 
specializing in film props, film replica, sculpting, life-size busts, casting, woodwork, metalwork, and painting. I've actually seen a bust he made. Uh, it was on one of Joe's Dream Creepers, and he did a really good job on that. Well, anyway, in conclusion, anyone looking for a really nice glove and not looking to pay that huge price tag, I highly recommend going to Chris Stanley. Alright, bye.